We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. It's game four of the World Series between the Cincinnati Reds and the Boston Red Sox. Game four of the World Series comes up next. Getting close to first pitch here. Let's listen in to public address announcer Alex Miniak. And now, your Boston Red Sox. And a moment now to glance at the Reds' lineup card in this one. Dero, what's the key if they want to be crowned World Series champs here tonight? Matt, do you take a look at this lineup? I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be win day, and when you get in a car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, just get two or three. All the pressure's on the big boy to have to execute, and he usually does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score, manufacture one or two runs early in this one. So here's how the Bo Sox are positioning themselves defensively. And I'm locking in today on outfielder Nick Williams. Pretty swing at the dish, but in the outfield as well, this guy can go get it in the I gap. Know. Batting third, the third baseman, number 87. Set and the pitch is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Half racing back, still going back. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So it's a two run shot to right center, his second home run of the series, and it's given Cincinnati a two to nothing lead. Yeah, he had the right idea trying to bust him inside, but that pitch caught too much of the plate, and he took it deep for a two-run homer. That was a nice swing of the bat. Digging in for his second at-bat, number, number, number 87. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. Here comes the first pitch. A bullet to first base. So bases are empty here with two the gone. Field, and that'll bring up 12. the former first rounder and yeah. Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Ah. One, one, one. Third. Throw in time and the side is retired. Stepping into the box, Jose Blanco. He drew a walk his first time Jose up. Jose Blanco. One, 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 one. a ground ball to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. This one remains close. It's six to five. Riding in once again, number 87. He comes number in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. From the stretch. Now a ball hit to center field and deep. Back goes the center fielder way back, and that ball is gone.
two run shot to straight away center his second home run of the game as they open up an eight five lead. You know, as a pitcher, there's nothing worse than getting taken deep, but it's something every pitcher has to deal with. Even the best pitchers give up home runs. You just have to refocus. Next up for the Red Sox, Cesar Aponte. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hard to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox. Still looking up at an 8-5 deficit. Number 87 will stand in looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Strike one to start the at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. Stepping in, number 87. He's number gone deep eight, twice seven. in the game, making him two for four. He's set. Here it comes. Oh, it's on run the ground. Out, the out, second. Out. Did he get his double play? Onto the shortstop, but thrown away. And he'll come in to score from second base. And that is a direct result, obviously, of that poor, poor throw. Oh, this is kind of unforgivable for the second baseman. He tries to square himself to the throw to second and start the double play. And I'm not sure what happened next. Maybe his cleats got stuck, or maybe he just lost the grip. But the net result is E4 with two now men on board. Left fielder. So it's a tight spot Goal. here. First and second, one man out, and into bed next will be the outfielder David Dahl. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. That'll bring in Philip right Urban. Field. Two outs and two runners aboard right. here in the seventh inning. Urban. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Heading out towards shallow right. Aponte is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Reds will be forced to settle for just the one. They'll get up and stretch here at Fenway. Reds out in front, 13-10. Stepping into the box, number 87. He's looking to deliver here with the bases loaded and two out in the inning. Looking to minimize the damage here. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Into right field. That's a base hit. One run is scored. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to I score. Working, big guy. Good job. Where are you going, Vic? Well, he's been shouldering the workload at the plate all night long. Two RBIs here give him six in total for today's game. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder, David Dahl. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Bryant is there, and the side is retired. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Reds lead it 16 to 10. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Ian Happ. It was Number a flyout for him in his last trip. Ian. Almost, Matty. Almost Hap. went deep his last A.B. Certainly just one, one, with one. this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good. At Look for him to try and get on something. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. 
Boston strands a couple. They trail in this wild affair. Digging in, number 87. Already a pair of long balls on his line in this one, so we'll see what else he has in store here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. You're going, this you're is going. pulled into right. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So they pick up three runs on only two hits in the inning. No errors, and two men left on base. On now to the bottom of inning number nine. The Reds are on top, 19 to 10. Back now on the show. It's all over. And you see the reactions there to the final out. And down on the field, we'll get a chance to watch the presentation of the Commissioner's Trophy to the new world champs. 